quiet, please, so he can read it out clearly. Now you can go ahead. I am Evangelist Isan, the friend of Muslims. Okay. My question is from the Quran, chapter 22, verse 50. Quran 22, verse 50. It says there that never did we send a messenger or a prophet before you. Allah was talking to Prophet Muhammad. Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before you, but when he recites the revelation or narrated or spoke, Shaitan, Satan, threw some falsehood in it, but Allah abolishes that which Satan threw in. Then Allah establishes his revelation, and Allah is all knower, all wise. It says clearly, that when a prophet narrated a revelation, whichever prophet, even those before Muhammad, that Satan threw falsehood in it, in the, in, the, in the narration, in the revelation, before Allah abolishes it. My question is, did Satan ever throw falsehood into the revelation of given to Muhammad? The brother asked the question, the Quran says that never was there a messenger before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa where Satan tried to tempt him. As far as Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is concerned, did Satan any time try to do things in the Quran in revelation? No. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said in a hadith that the Satan runs in the body of the human beings like the blood flows. So someone asked him, what about you? Even in mind. But I have controlled him. So the Satan could not tempt Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and no one could come close to the Quran because there's a verse in the Quran where it says that none shall touch it except those who are pure. When the people laid an allegation that this revelation is from Satan, so the verse came that none shall touch except those who are pure. I mean, no one can come close to the Lohem Hefuz where the Quran has been preserved. The Satan cannot come close to it. And furthermore, various places in the Quran it says, that when people lay allegation that this is from the Satan, the Quran says in Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse number 98 and in Surah Araf chapter 7 that read Auz Billah min shaitan rajim say I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed so if this is from Satan how will it be mentioned there that say I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed so these verses of the Quran clearly point out that Satan can come nowhere close to the true Quran and there cannot be any Satanic verses that can come in this Quran and the Quran says in several places, before you read the Quran, say, Auz Billah min shaitan rajim, say that I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. I hope that answers the question.